For communicating with your customers, newsletter and contact forms are a good option. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can create them. Have fun! Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another tutorial. My name is Alexander Barton from Shop Studio and let's get started. As always, I'm now in the Shopware and Illustration dashboard. And this tutorial consists of two parts. First, we will create a contact form and afterwards we will create a newsletter form. First things first. To create a new contact form, you need to go to content, then to shopping experiences. And for example, you can create then a new page in your shop. It could be like a landing page later or a category page. It doesn't really matter because this a contact form is just a simple CMS element and it can be inserted basically everywhere. Let's create a new landing page. When we go, we choose full width. We name it contact, create a new layout. And afterwards we got this free space. Now we need to click on this plus sign here. Then we go to form. And here you can see the CMS element. We just have to drag and drop it into this free space. This was basically the first part. Now we click here on this uh, preferences icon. And here we can adjust a few things. You can see, for example, that we can choose the form type. In this case, the default is contact. We can insert a title. We can change the confirmation text. Thus, we change the title to contact, the confirmation text maybe to it worked and that's all. Here you can see the settings tab. So you can choose the receiver address of this contact form. Okay, we click now on done. And afterwards we click on save. We have created now a new CMS page, but it's not visible. To make it visible, we need to go to catalogs and afterwards to categories. And then here we create a new landing page add a new landing page. The name could be contact. We make it active. The sales channel is storefront in our case. It could be different in your case. Here we need to choose an SEO URL. Okay, and now we choose our newly created layout. We assign the layout. We click here on contact and afterwards on save. If we want, we can uh, override the specific settings here. This is a nice feature of the Shopware CMS pages. This means you can reuse the same layout, for example, for, I don't know, 10,000 pages. And with each page, you can have different settings. But for our case, it's enough. We click now on save and let's try it out. We can now see the storefront. To try it out, we just need to enter the newly created SEO URL, we enter it as a path and now we can see our contact form. I have this Chrome plugin here. It's much easier you know, to test forms because you don't have to fill out every field. So I use it, I click here. Now everything is pre-filled uh, except maybe this privacy checkbox. I click on the checkbox and I submit this form. And now we can see our message, it worked. This was the first part. As promised, the second part is to create a newsletter opt-in form. Thus, the goal is, if we go here to the newsletter recipients, that we get some contact details of our newly created newsletter recipients. To create a new newsletter form, it's very similar to the contact form. We need to go to the content, then to shopping experiences. Let's create a new layout. And this time, maybe it could be a shop page, let's say, maybe full width. We name it newsletter. As for last time, we choose the block category form and we drag and drop the CMS element here. Now we go to the preferences. We change the form type to newsletter. The title could be newsletter but this is not a required field. And we click on done. We save it, go back to the categories again. But this time let's create a category. 
instead of landing page just for demonstration purposes. We click here on a new subcategory. We name it newsletter. We click on it. We make it active. The category type is correct in our case. Products are not important. We change the layout. We change it to newsletter. Now we check the SEO settings. I think nothing is really required here. Thus we can click on save. I have refreshed the storefront page and I now can see a new menu item called newsletter. I click on it. And as expected, we can see the newsletter here. I think the shopper newsletter forms are basic. I think maybe they are not really conversion oriented. For example, if I compare it with my agency homepage, if I scroll to the bottom, for example, I think this is much better uh, for a customer, something like offering a freebie or maybe offering a discount and maybe only the email is required. Those kind of forms are too complicated, but it's just a tutorial. Now we click on save. After the submission, a new notice has appeared. You have just subscribed to our newsletter. To complete the sign-up process, search your inbox for confirmation email and click on the link provided with us. Thus, our lovely double opt-in procedure. All right, by the way, if we go back now to the newsletter, this means marketing newsletter recipients, we can see our newly created entry. The status is of course still awaiting activation and it's not possible to change it except you access the database directly. But for the moment, for this tutorial, that's all. I have an extra trip for you. It's possible to edit the contact emails and the newsletter emails as you wish. To edit it, you just have to go to the settings, now to shop and to email templates. Here, if you search for contact form or maybe you see it directly, you can click on the three dots on the right side and afterwards on edit. And here you can change, of course, the type, the description, but more importantly, you can change the mail text. Here's the plain text. For example, in your emails, HTML is not enabled. HTML is responsible for overstyling. And here you can see the HTML version of the email. The same thing is possible for newsletter double opt-in and newsletter registration. Here you can see the both types. You can click on the three dots, now click on edit. And here you can see the message. Hello, thank you for your interest in your newsletter, blah, blah, blah. And if you go back, um, we need to search for newsletter again. Here is the newsletter registration, three dots again, edit. And on the bottom, you can see, hello, first name, last name. Thank you very much for your registration. In case you haven't done it, do not forget to subscribe to the channel or leave a comment or review below. We see us in the next tutorial. Bye.